again guys. So today I thought I'd talk a little bit about using motorcycles and scooters as uh, commuters to get to work and stuff. Because for many years, that's exactly what I've done. I've always used my bike or scooter, whatever I happen to have at the time, um, to commute to work or college or whatever. Now, I did more often than not have cars, but especially you know a few years back, I wasn't really able to afford the running costs that much. So I nearly always used the bike. So yeah, I thought I'd just go through the advantages and disadvantages of it. Uh, now, advantage-wise, especially if you live, um, sorry, especially if you work in a town or a city, a motorcycle or a scooter, doesn't matter which, both of them have pretty much the same advantages, um, but a motorcycle or scooter is going to be a very good option for you because, firstly, and I think this is probably one of the biggest things, Parking in towns and cities is an absolute nightmare and often quite expensive as well. If you work in a town, chances are you probably have to buy a parking permit for your car, you know, if, if your work doesn't have their own car parking spaces. And of course that can amount to hundreds of pounds a year, so that can be quite expensive. And if you don't live too far away as well, it, it's kind of, it works out a lot of money for that short amount of travel. The other thing, obviously, on top of that is the traffic. So if you're on a motorcycle or a scooter, you can uh, zip in and out of the traffic quite easily, whereas in a car you're pretty much just stuck in it. Um, and then obviously the other big thing when it comes to motorcycles and scooters is the fuel efficiency, because especially if you've got a slightly smaller engine, be it like a 125 or a 250 or even a 400, something like that, it's going to be a lot more efficient on fuel than a car. So if you don't have to do particularly long journeys to get to work every day, they are very, very good options. Now, obviously, between the two, for commuting purposes, I would go as far as to say scooters are probably just that little bit better, only because of the built-in storage uh, under the seats and that sort of thing. Uh, but that said, a lot of bikes, you can get, obviously, top boxes for them and panniers and things like that. but. It's just, with the scooters, you get storage right out of the factory without spending any extra money. So, I mean, it's a matter of personal preference, really. It doesn't actually matter whether you go for a motorcycle or scooter for commuting purposes, but the scooters do tend to have the edge just on that one thing alone. But, uh, oh, and also, I suppose if you think about it, if you're commuting in quite heavy traffic and you do find yourself stop-starting a lot, maybe a scooter's a little bit better because of the automatic transmission. Um, you know, on a manual bike, you have to keep changing down the gear and playing with the clutch and everything else. Whereas, obviously, with a scooter, you just twist the throttle. Now, obviously, if you are the sort of person that likes to go for fun rides of a weekend and you're after something a little bit more exciting, you probably want to go for something a little bit bigger. So, in the case of scooters, you'd want, like, a 400, maybe. Um, or in the case of motorbikes, just... I don't know, 250 upwards, just to give you that little bit of extra grunt for when you go, you know, out of the town and into the country lanes. Um, but yeah, so on the disadvantage front, obviously the biggest one's going to be weather. You know, if it's cold outside, it doesn't matter what type of bike you're on, be it bike, scooter, whatever, you're going to be cold. Um, you know, a lot of them do come these days with things like heated grips and stuff like that which is you know that's quite nice and some of them even come with heated seats but at the end of the day if it's particularly cold out you're going to suffer that's where obviously being in a nice warm car with a roof over your head is going to be an advantage again you know if it's raining you're going to get wet now this is another one where scooters might just nick the advantage um, because they do have all that plastic around them and the leg shields and everything else, they do obviously offer just that little bit more protection. Um, it depends what kind of bike you go for, because some of the bigger bikes do have a bit of protection to them as well, but if you're looking for a commuter, you're probably looking for a smaller bike, and a lot of the smaller bikes don't have much in the way of weather protection at all. I mean, certainly my one here has absolutely none. So, again, scooters have a little bit of an advantage there, but they're not going to keep you dry when it starts raining. They'll keep the worst of the shit off the road off of you. So if you're, you know, if you're wearing a suit or something like that, 
you know, they'll keep your trousers from getting too dirty, but they're not going to protect you entirely from the weather. You're still going to get wet, cold and everything else. So it's a disadvantage either way. Um, and then, again, obviously, you know, when it's icy and things like that, it's slippery, it's a bit more sketchy on bikes. So, you know, they do have their disadvantages, but I was always a... I've never been a fair weather rider, so I've always been quite happy to ride in any conditions. But I think if I was to recommend something... So if you live on the outskirts of a town, or if you live in a village and you work in a town, and you're looking for a good commuter, I would probably say get yourself either a 125 or a 250 or even a 400cc scooter just because you do have that little bit of storage, you do have that little bit more weather protection, albeit only a little bit. Um, but I think also, you know, if, if you have to dress quite smart for work, sometimes if you have a motorbike, all the kind of crud from the road and stuff, especially in the winter, can end up up your trousers, whereas obviously on a scooter, you're not going to get that so much. So I would probably suggest going for a scooter in that sense. But, uh, I mean, I, I personally prefer to be on a motorbike, but that's just my personal preference. It's, uh, it's really down to you what you go for, but I think that would probably be my recommendations. Which is quite funny, because I, I actually did a review a little while back on a, um, one of the Maxi scooters that I didn't think was all that great. It, it, it wasn't a bad bike by any stretch of the imagination. It was actually quite good in some respects, but it was just overpriced for what it was and didn't offer enough for the amount of money they were asking for it. Um, and quite, a, well, I'll say quite a few, a few people uh, seem to get the idea from that that I was a hater of scooters. Um, whereas, actually, I couldn't be farther from the truth. I do actually quite love them. Uh, had many over the years. But anyway, that's my recommendations. That's uh, my little chat on commuting on bikes and scooters. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give it a like. Um, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. Go check out my other videos, uh, if you must, including the uh, one that I didn't think was too good. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you again soon.